Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all keeping well. Well this is urban woodland at its best. I've got a, a massive housing estate to my left, literally 100 yards to the side of the woodland. On the right side I've got the Lincoln Bypass, the A46 Bypass, and uh, it's not too noisy in here luckily. But I've been driving up and down here for quite a few weeks now, and I've been looking in here and I've seen some lovely gnarly trees about. I've not come across one yet, but I've literally just walked in, come down this path, and uh, found a nice scene, still some nice autumnal colours about, so I thought I'd have a go at it. There's a nice log pile that's making a nice feature in the distance, and with a bit of post-process I should be able to give it a bit of vignette, perhaps light in the centre of the frame a bit, and it should make a nice scene, so quite chuffed, but I'm really here for some gnarly trees that I've seen, probably they look like oaks and beeches, but um, I'm going to have a good wander around, but yeah, it's a nice start this scene, got a nice path with a puddle, bit of a reflection, just to lead your eye up the frame and uh, got lots of silver birch it's it's quite predominantly a silver birch woodland this is but um obviously it's been here years since since the bypass was built but um just never thought to really come and have a look in here until recently when i've been driving up and down and kept peering in and uh, so i thought i'd give it a go today something really different still some nice bird song about but there's dogs barking in in the the estate to my to my left and obviously i got the the noise of the vehicles constantly driving past on the bypass but some lovely compositions to be had i'm sure so anyway i'm on the 70 to 200 5d mark IV. i've got the magnetic variable polarizer on i crank that right up just to get you know enhance the color in in camera best i can i'm at iso 50 f8 for a nice bit of depth and i'm at a fourth of a second there's not a breath of wind today so i can go really low on the shutter speeds going to be no movement in the leaves or anything it's quite flat dull and overcast don't think the sun's going to come out so that's that's helping a bit with the colors and and the polarizer so yeah job's good and good start good frame first frame in the bag on the old urban woodlands i'll pop it up now guys and i hope you like it So these are the sort of trees that I've been seeing. You can just see up there, that one. Lovely, gnarly oak. It's only a small one, but I have seen bigger ones from the road, so. But there's still some nice color about, so hopefully there's another composition somewhere. You hate to see it. <laughs> oh dear. If ever you release a balloon, just try and think before you do and they all fall down somewhere. I've got a lot of farming friends that are always picking these, these balloons up off the fields. And uh, if I could reach that, I'd get it down, but it's just a bit too high, so. Ugh. Rant over, <laughs> on we go. Just found a lovely little oak tree and it, the colours on it are absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, I just can't get a good composition on it because there's a massive silver birch that's photobombing the frame, the scene if you like. I've had a good walk around and I just can't, I can't lose the silver birch. So I've, I've ended up here. There's a nice fallen birch behind the oak tree, which sort of helps the scene a bit. It's not a very good composition, but I just love the colours. We've got too much sky in in the backdrop really i did walk around to try and include more of the the woodland and try and escape any sky poking through the the gaps in the trees but just didn't work but uh, i just thought i'd show you now uh, it's a lovely tree and uh, yeah quite happy to have found it i'll pop it up now guys
Well, this is far from my average sort of scene that I like to, to compose, but I'm really struggling if I'm honest. It's all well and good driving past in the car and, and looking, but I think when they've, when they've carved the road through this woodland, they've carved it through the centre of all the gnarly plantation, and there's plenty of gnarly oaks and that next to the road, but as I've come back, it's just silver birch and, and the odd oak, but I haven't managed to find a composition yet, so <laughs> that's my excuse anyway, so I'm struggling a bit. And this woodland's planted between basically positioned between two roundabouts and I'm, I've started at one roundabout and I'm walking my way, making my way to the other roundabout and it's obviously getting narrower and narrower and uh, I'm struggling a bit. But anyway, I've come ac across this sil uh, fallen silver birch. Well, there's two fallen silver birches actually, obviously gone down in a recent storm. And the light that the, the birch is catching really caught my eye and it's quite an ethereal, moody looking scene. I think I'll be able to edit it to make it look like that anyway. But uh, yeah, it caught my eye. It's, it's, it's not my usual composition whatsoever. Um, something really different, a Marmite scene, you might, you might uh, say. You either like it or you're going to hate it. But uh, it's something really different for me. Um, I'm at 100 mil. I'm as zoomed out as far as I can. Still got that nice depth. I'm at F11 now. Not a breath of wind. So I'm at F11. I'm at 1.3 second exposure. But um, yeah, it's, I think it'll make a nice frame. Bit of vignette, perhaps again, quite quite a lot to do in post. Perhaps just bring out the highlights on the silver birch, where because there's quite a bit of a gap in the canopy, and the light is really falling on the on the silver birch, lovely. But a um, little bit of a footpath going round it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. See what it makes. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll pop it up now. Well, I've been walking for about another half an hour and still not come across them gnarly trees that I spotted from the roadside. It's all well and good scouting, like I said earlier, from the car. But once you get on foot and get in amongst the trees, usually proves a bit more difficult than it has done. But however, I've come across another composition. It, again, it's not my usual style and I've called it chaos. Because <laughs> as you can see behind me, loads and loads of silver birch and I've tried to separate every silver birch best I can, which is nearly impossible, but uh, it's just something really different. Must be, I don't know, 30, 30 odd silver birch in the frame. Nice carpet of, of dead bracken in the base of the frame. A Little bit of sky, obviously, coming through, a bit of highlight tones coming through, but, but should be able to dampen them down a bit in post-process. But yeah, I'm gonna call this one chaos. We've got a couple of silver birch in the foreground, a bit like a goalpost I've composed it, and they've got a bit of uh, moss, a bit of green on the bark, and then going back further in there's a lot more white white areas of bark, and uh, yeah, it's a bit, again it's another Marmite frame, bit of a strange vlog this one, it's uh, something a bit different, but it keeps the eye in, and uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it, so I'll pop it up now guys, I'm at F22 on this one, because I want I wanted as many silver birch as possible from front to back to be to be sharp so uh, yeah it should be all right um <laughs> again let me know what you think it's at four seconds as well because it's not a breath of wind so four seconds at f22 iso 50 and uh, yeah another real different composition but i say let me know what you think in the comments below i'll pop it up now Well, I'm going to call it a day now. Certainly not the video I uh, plan to shoot, but a couple of different frames there. Definitely not my usual style, but it's nice to take something different now and again. Like I said, let me know what you think. Marmite frames, I think. You'll either like them or hate them. But uh, anyway, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. 
that's another new woodland explored well a little woodland really on the outskirts of Lincoln but uh, as you can hear the traffic behind me but definitely time to go and get a coffee on now and uh, jobs are good and thanks ever so much for watching guys look forward to your comments and uh, I'll catch up next week thanks for watching take care see you soon